Hi, we're going to assemble Shield XL and put it in a case and show you where the standoffs go and stuff. So we've got assembled board, everything ready to go there. Screen is attached but uh, is loose right now with the short uh, cable there. And uh, we've got some standoffs. So this is a standoff set that came with my kits uh, and let's show you where those go. So we've got uh, a couple of these that are um, 11 millimeter and 8 millimeter. Those are going to go over here. We've got 11 millimeter that's going to go there. We've got an 8 millimeter there. Uh, just a screw and a nut, which is going to hold the display over here, and then a long screw. So that's kind of where everything's going to go. Uh, got the pie separated right now because I want to attach the standoffs to the main board first and then attach the pie. So uh, you can leave these screws in there if you want or you can take them out. I'm going to at least take off the ones on the bottom for the moment because that's going to go onto the pie. But for the moment, uh, let's just disassemble those guys and we're going to attach this 8 millimeter on top and the 11 millimeter on the bottom of the corners here. And just do this finger tight doesn't need to be snug, doesn't need to be crazy tight or anything. Um, do both of those corners. And then we've got uh, two more things we're gonna do for the display and the pie. So this single 11 millimeter here, you wanna take both those screws out. You've got a long screw and a short screw, right? So this long screw is gonna go in from here, from the top corner of the display through the main board and should stick out just next to the header there. So you want to screw that, kind of finger tight that guy there. Don't worry about that being snug yet. We can do that with a screwdriver here at the end. Might even leave it loose so we can move this sort of around if we need to. So the display will kind of wiggle a little bit. Um, to keep the display from wiggling around too much, we've got this 10 millimeter screw and a nut. That's going to go through this opposite corner up here and just get connected on the other side of the board and I would uh, just grab that nut with your finger grab a screwdriver and give that just a quick snug again you can get that snugged up once you've sort of got the display in a good place so I'm going to do that I'll tighten that guy up so display's doing kind of okay if you need to you can always tighten that up again later so we've got those guys on. This one doesn't attach to anything yet because it's gonna go into the case and the same thing with this long screw. So those are kind of set aside for the moment. This screw, these screws over here are gonna go into the bottom of the case as well. So let's leave those alone. And then I'm gonna take these two out of the corner for the moment. Okay, let's uh, attach a Pi. This is Pi B3 Plus. Um, I just uh, mount that guy on the bottom. So you want to line up your uh, your headers here. This one's been kind of taken on on and off a lot, so uh, sometimes it's worked. But you want to look at it from the side, from the you know from the edge, and make sure the pins are good and it's not sticking out one side or another. Um, another thing you can check is that the holes line up where those headers are. There is a fourth uh, pie hole and a and a hole in the case. Don't worry about that. It's not really important even to have a standoff there because the spacer or the, uh, the header is kind of holding that all together. These two standoffs on the outside are the ones that sort of matter the most. Um, this one's mostly there just to hold this display in place. So Pi is mounted. Everything should be sort of more or less flush. Um, if there's a little bit of play there, don't worry about it. We're going to tighten that up. Um, or if you didn't get your your header on really nice, there might be just like a little gap there, but don't uh, don't force it, um, and uh, hopefully everything will be good. So we've got that sort of put together, and we're ready for a case. Let me show you some, some cases here. Um, this is a case from a JLC PCB. This is SLS nylon, and looks kind of interesting. It's got sort of a textured, uh, dark gray sort of uh, finish to it and uh, it's got a little bit of flex to it it's pretty lightweight 
Uh, not, not a lot of heft, but uh, it looks really nice. So uh, we're kind of thinking this might be the, the thing we use. Um, another version of this is the same case printed in ABS. This one looks a little bit more like a home FDM print. You can kind of see the marks inside or on the bottom. You can kind of see the zigzags of kind of how it printed. Um, I don't know if I'm excited about this. They, you know, the edges look kind of okay, but this front edge doesn't look so good. There's some banding and uh, stuff there. For comparison, this is just a home print I made on my own uh, Ender 3. Um, the banding isn't quite as bad. Uh, this is just PLA, and uh, I think it, like my print actually looks a little nicer than that one. Maybe? Maybe not. Anyway, the shiny material kind of helps, I guess. Um, their edges look a little bit better there, but um, the only problem is PLA is not great with heat, so uh, ABS is going to be better in heat uh, situations. So you've got a Pi 4, for example. Um, maybe you know another material is good, but nylon, on the other hand, is pretty good up to like 100 and something, 140 degrees Celsius, I think. So uh, nylon seems like a good way to go. Um, and it seems like it's rigid enough. So I don't know if ABS is, is good or not. Anyway, let's set those aside for a second. So we're going to use the ABS case and put things together. So let's bring the Pi back. Uh, super important, if you're going to insert this, take your SD card out. So remove your SD card from the Pi, set it aside for a second, and you just want to do that so it doesn't get caught on this front edge when we put it in. So I'm going to just set that over here. All right, let's get sideways here so you can kind of see everything. Um, the trick to this is just it's going to go in at an angle. The jacks are going to go in, and the ports are going to go in, and it's just going to kind of drop into place. So uh, easy enough. Just I would say, you know, you can tilt this up a little bit, but you're going to tilt the whole pie unit together till the jacks are in at an angle like this. Hang on, let's do it this way. So you want to sort of tilt it in like that. Make sure the, uh, the ports are coming through on the back there, and it, it's good. Um, the jacks on the, the MIDI jacks over here are gonna flex out this top bit, and it should just kind of pop into place if without too much movement there. If need be, you could use a pair of ply or a tweezers or something to, um, or a screwdriver just to sort of like go move that a little bit. So it's sort of dropped into place. And once it's in there, it should wiggle around a little bit. So we're gonna anchor it down here in a second. Um, now, we've got that in place. Something you're gonna wanna do uh, for, uh, which I probably should have done first, but you can do it here too, is um, take that long, the 16 millimeter screw you've got, and we're gonna put it in the two corners here just to thread those guys once, or at least this top one, um, you want to get that screw in there and at least run it, run a screw into this because there's there's a hole there which has a thread in it, but for the 3D printing, that may or may not uh, let's go a little sideways here uh, that may or may not have good threads on it. So if you run a just run a screw in there, tighten it down a little bit, pull it back out, and uh, that'll sort of create some threads for you. Um, because we're going to put that standoff in that corner. Over here, we could actually do this right now, is just put that 16 in, and this is going to just go all the way down, and that's going to kind of hold this corner in place. So if we look at the other uh, case here, for example, there's these built-in bosses or standoffs that we're screwing into here. So uh, that screw's going here, the other one's going to go in there. We've got the same thing on the bottom down here for the pie. So uh, I've got that guy kind of started, and it's the first time I've tried this, so we'll see kind of what happens if it goes far enough. Uh, seems to be working. It's kind of snug. Um, you know what? I just realized I'm just kind of I'm I'm just sort of drilling the hole there, creating some threads because we're going to take that back out because it doesn't go all the way there, does it? It goes outside. Uh, that goes from the panel. So I put that one in and I'm going to take it back out again. So ignore me for a moment. Let's just leave that alone. So first thing we want to do uh, is probably put this guy in this corner. 
This is kind of tricky because if you've got big fingers and you're wearing gloves, like me, um, it's kind of hard to get that guy that will stand off in there. Um, so you want to line it up so you see the hole right there and then see if you can get this started. Uh, what can be helpful here is a pair of pliers, which I have to go over here to get them. Hold on. My no edit plan foiled because I left tools across the room. Uh, will we edit that out? I don't know, probably not. Um, so I've got some Leatherman tool, needle nose pliers. Um, you can just kind of grab that uh, stand off and start to twist it. You know, use your fingers to start maybe, and then once it's bitten in there and starts starts to turn on its own, you could use this pliers to very carefully twist it in there. This one, this is the trickiest part probably of this, this assembly is just to, once you get that going, you want to get it in there. Um, you could potentially take a screw, um, put a screw into the top of the standoff, and then once that bottoms out, it's going to start turning. Let's see if this will work. Once that bottoms out, it's going to start turning the whole standoff. So in this case, that's working pretty okay. Um, so you can see the whole standoff turning. Maybe that's a better approach to this. And you want to just kind of snug that in place. Uh, now the hard part is to make sure that that screw comes out, which of course it's not going to work very well. So you're going to want to grab your pliers, hold the standoff, and then take that screw out. All right, so we've got standoff over here, we have a standoff over here, we have a standoff over here. Great. Now, still wobbling around there because we haven't attached it at the bottom yet. We've got some holes at the bottom here to add some screws to keep the pie in place. That's where these other guys are going to come and play into play. So it's you can kind of look into the holes and see where the brass bits are. It's basically the front two and the one on the outside. This inside one is not getting used. Unless you really have an extra standoff there and you want to put it in there just for completionist's sake. But uh, kind of wiggle that around, make sure it's going into the standoff. And you can kind of snug that into place. The other one. And these don't need to be like super, super tight. You just snug it all together so it feels right, it's not wobbling around. You don't want to like over tighten something, strip out a screw, or anything like that. All right, so hey, that's pretty solid in there, right? So in a good place. Now we've got our three screws over here. We got one long screw left. Actually that's going to go here. This is going to go here. Uh, at this point you could put the SD card back in down here and it's going to stick out just a little bit but you have a notch there so you can swap that out if you need to. And uh, let's look at a PCB panel. So I had some PCB panels made with the uh, first set of kits. Uh, some of these didn't turn out so great. You can see this one's got a big scratch. Um, unfortunately, it's just the, the nature of getting P P PCB panels made. Um, you've got a clear window here with some paper on it. So you could either snap that out and try to peel the paper off or just see if you can get a corner with uh, something sharp to peel up the edge of the paper and then see if you can peel it off. Um, try to be ginger here. So once you got a corner, you can kind of peel that. That'll come right off. Do the same thing on the back. The, uh, the little window is just press fit into place. So it may snap out and you can just kind of pop it back in again. Um, it may take a couple of tries. I try to get those so they fit really snugly uh, so they don't pop out. But there's our window and we can drop this on top and there's our uh, unit. So all we got to do is uh, put some more screws in. So let's do the uh, the corner over here. That one you might have to wiggle it around a little bit so it gets down to where the standoff goes. And we're going to uh, tighten that a little bit. I'm not going to tighten these all the way down, just kind of get them started. And then we'll snug it all together and make sure it's uh, looking good.
And last one. Okay, so we're at a point where this is a little bit loose still, and we want to just get it in place. So I'm going to use my fingers just to sort of get it lined up to the edges and go around and tighten each of these corners. And it's might not be a perfect fit. This little corner over here, this little edge is uh, a little bit loose maybe, but I think that looks pretty okay. So that's the case, assembled, ready to go. Uh, put some knobs on and everything's good. So there we go. Uh, yeah, I think that's doing all right. Thanks for watching.